grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's hear the words from Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. In this psalm, we, we hear the psalmist talking about praising God, and it's mostly praising God through through music. And as musicians, we, we know the impact and um, joy that praising God through, through music can bring us. Over the years, I have, I've served many churches, and I've, I've talked about how our hymnals can, can become a source of devotion. And, you know, we've got the new red hymnal. We also have our old green Lutheran Book of Worship. And these books are more than just music books. These books are worship resources. These books are devotion resources. If you look in the front of our, 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 our old LBW, Lutheran Book of Worship, you've got whole worship services in here. You've got all the Psalms in here. But also you've got places where you can look and, and read and, and hear the good news preached and, and the good news prayed for. Um, the, the great, some of the greatest theologians in the world have their their writings in here bishop of ambrose martin luther charles wesley just to name a few uh, these great minds have put the theology that we believe in and set it to music we can praise god with our voices we can praise god with the organ and sing along with these hymnals also allow us to do devotions that lead us through the church here. We can start with, with the, the, the advent of Christ, the birth of Christ. We can, we can read about his life, his ministry, and the words and stories that, that go along in Scripture are in the hymnal. We can read about his passion the joyful coming into Jerusalem, the betrayal, the crucifixion, and the resurrection. All of those can just be in a hymnal, and you can simply open it up and, and read. In the cross of Christ I glory, towering o'er the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story gathered round its head sublime. If you go on to read you hear the stories of Jesus. O Christ, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. O Christ, the Lamb of God, grant us thy peace. Amen. Hymns can also give us comfort at different times in our lives. During times of uncertainty, we may look to the hymn, What God Ordains is Always Good. Um, if we're gathering a family together that hasn't been together for a while, we may sing or look at Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow. If we're sitting at the bedside of someone who's about to pass, we may turn to Abide With Me. For a joyful occasion, now thank we all our God. For stress and anxiety, we may turn to God as our mighty fortress. The hymnal I used to teach children 
that this is probably the greatest book of devotions that you can you can have and letting our children hear these great hymns that we have in here help them create a connectiveness to us in corporate worship if we sing a hymn around the dinner table holy 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 lord god almighty early in the morning our song shall rise to thee when they hear that in worship it connects them not only from their family but to their church family and into the corporate worship that we do on a weekly basis so often we think of hymnals as being nothing more than than what we would use in worship but if you have a hymnal i encourage you to take it out read the words I'm sure the music will come to your mind as well, but read the words and you will see how hymnals will let us praise God in his sanctuary, be it corporately or at home. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sound of the voice, with the sound of the heart and the sound of the mind. Let us praise him. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for the gift of words set to music. We thank you for the, the gift of, of the text that you have given us and allowed us to, to learn and worship you, but to encourage us to use those words and sing a joyful song unto you. Lord, these days are, are hard and and often we, we don't know where we're going or what's going to happen. But we turn to you. We put our faith and our trust in you. And we sing a joyful song that comes from deep down in our souls. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Friends, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.